Dead zones killing your Wi-Fi? The Asus RPEX 58 range extender boosts your signal with Wi-Fi 6 speeds. In this step-by-step -step guide, I'll show you how to set it up in minutes. No tech degree required. Let's get started. Method 1. Set up using WPS button. First, unbox your ASUS range extender device and locate a small WPS button beside or front side. Step 1. Plug in your extender. First, plug your RPEX58 into a power outlet halfway between your router and the weak signal area. Wait for the LED to light up. That means it's ready for setup. Now go to your Wi-Fi router and press WPS button for 2 seconds. And within 2 minutes press WPS button on ASUS RP58 range extender until LEDs start blinking blue. After successful connection extender LED light will be solid white and you will get extender SSID name as your existing Wi-Fi name followed by EXT. Extender password will be same as your existing Wi-Fi password. Method 2. Set up ASUS RP EX58 as AI Mesh Node. If your main router also from ASUS brand, then you can use AI Mesh. Update your main ASUS router to the latest firmware if you not find AI Mesh option. First, plug in your RP EX58 near your main router and power on extender. Now connect your laptop or PC from ASUS router. Find router login IP address and username and password printed on the sticker. Open any browser and access router at asus.com. Login using username and password. Now, navigate to AI Mesh and press Add AI Mesh Node button. Now, navigate to AI Mesh and press Add AI Mesh Node button and wait while router searching for ASUS RP58. Searching may take few seconds, so wait. When you get RP58 rang, extender click to join. In the next steps, press Connect button. Wait while connection process going on. When you get successfully added message, press finish button to complete setup wizard. You can give location name for your range extender if using multiple extender in different room. And that's how you transform your RPEX58 into a powerful AI mesh node for seamless whole home Wi-Fi. No more dead zones, no more buffering. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe channel to get more tech guide. Thanks for watching.